So I wanted to talk just a second about how I physically and logically have my cameras set up on my network and how they communicate with ZoneMinder. So uh, I have beautifully constructed this diagram to show you the inner workings of my home network here. And uh, if we look up at the top, I have a router for right now. I'm running PFSense on that router. Um, then that goes down into a switch and this is really the primary point that everything gets connected to. I'm running a old Dell switch, just a layer 2 switch so there's no configuring or anything. I just plug it in and go. Plug and chug. And it's a 24 port. It does have gigabit. It does not have PoE. But I really don't have any PoE things on my network here. Now going downwards, uh, then we start to get into my main network and this is where the computer that I'm recording this on is connected to is what my phone connects to through this access point um, really about anything that connects to this network either by plugging into this switch or by connecting to this access points SSID now we will notice that down here this is also where my VMware server is uh, both of them actually are connected here. I have two hypervisors, but the one that I'm concerned with for this video is right here and it's hosting my ZoneMinder server. So we'll talk more about that in just one second. Now going to the right off of the switch, and that's just logically, it's not physically, it's actually strung throughout my house and all kinds of different cords and stuff, but I have a separate WRT54G setup. And this is just a little, you know, little Linksys router yeah, you can get them for about 30 bucks or whatever. Whatever, it doesn't really matter. It just has Wi-Fi and it has like four ports on the back. And I use this as a secondary access point. And through this is kind of what I connect all of my cameras to. And also I have some Chromecasts and, you know, things that stream media. I'm trying to keep this traffic away from my main network. So all this stuff will go through this guy and then it will go into my switch and then hopefully straight out my router. Now, there is a problem with this. All these cameras, they need to connect back to this ZoneMinder server. So it actually does go down into my na main network and then back out. What I would like to do sometime is take this ZoneMinder server, either a VM or a physical machine, if I would push it back out to a physical machine and put it over in this camera network. That way the cameras could talk directly to ZoneMinder and it would stop right here. It stopped right there on that switch so none of this traffic would get back over into my main network and cause me any issues. And honestly it's not really that much bandwidth that these cameras use. Um, you know I just kinda like to keep things separated. I like to have my camera slash streaming network over here and hopefully that will just uh, you know go straight out to the internet unless it needs to connect back over to here like if I have my phone and I want to uh, you know Chromecast something then obviously I'll have to go up here and over here and connect to my Chromecast and whatnot but then the Chromecast will start pulling the video from my router and obviously it should go without saying that above this is my ISP above my router so uh, that's just a real quick breakdown on my camera network and my main network and how I have those segregated um, from my from my you know segregated in between each other so they're not actually really talking to each other or I'm trying to minimize the communications between these two networks um, let's see yeah that should be pretty pretty much about pretty much about all that I want to say on this so I'm going to go ahead and end the recording right now if you guys have any questions about ZoneMinder or how you need to set these things up feel free to drop me a comment I am by no means an expert in any of this I'm really just an enthusiast so you guys have yourself a great day